One, two, three, and go. Who goes first? Here you go. It's about me, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what were your first impressions of each other? Oh, um, well, it was in, for me, it was that interview, the, when you interviewed for the job. And I just, my lasting memory from that whole process, and let's be honest, I didn't say much. I was kind of just sitting there listening. Um, but it was like, we'd interviewed a lot of people up until that point when you came in, maybe six other people. And I remember going through the journey of thinking, yep, yeah, that's them, that's the coach. And then you came in and I just loved how the thing that stood out for me, you weren't like grappling to get the answer right or to impress anyone. You were just like this composure of like, this is what I think about that. And I, I don't mind if that's right or wrong or <laughs> I'm not trying to prove to you that I know best or that I'm better than the last candidate. This is just what I think about whatever that question was. And I'd say that that's, been a lasting impression like you've just got that um, quiet and unassuming self-assuredness I would say. Thanks Dave. Um, yeah, in that same interview um, I remember in that meeting one of the questions was about like where would you play? Um, Did I ask it? No I don't know. <laughs> you were curious to hear the answer but then I think I started talking about half back just with the way you see the game and then in your mind like you've been a gun midfielder for a long time and probably just busting to play in the midfield. Um, so I'm not sure that hit the nail on the head at the time. But uh, one of the early memories is the rivalry with you and Lil at training. <laughs> Just a pesky little 18 year old. Um, yeah, on your hammer at any opportunity um, and just your competitiveness and, and how that sort of friendship grew, um, I've always loved. Yep, she's a pest. <laughs> um, what are your favourite memories of each other? When you rang and told me that you were pregnant and um, the excitement of that um, was pretty special. Um, yeah, and then obviously following that path and your capacity to come back and play, like it's been quite extraordinary what you did in that first season back after having Roy and Sylvie and yeah, I still don't know how you did it. And you've probably got a similar reflection now. <laughs> um, quite remarkable what you've been able to do. Definitely something I've thought about this week, like as we won the grand final and then relaxed and enjoyed it. I don't, like, we haven't been able to relax like this, especially over summer, this kind of time of the year when it's festive and everyone else is on holidays. We've always been on the verge of the season, but that's part of what I've reflected on. Like, um, I don't know if I can get that wound up again, like that what you'd kind of need to be and what I have been, but also, yeah, I don't know how I've, suddenly the idea of managing the kids and it all just feels, impossible whereas I've been able to we've been able to hold it together for four years now but I feel like it would be hard to do now for some reason and yeah that very question I don't know how we've done that <laughs> what have we been doing why did we move to poor punker <laughs> <laughs> it all made sense at the time didn't it? how does the other impact people around them hmm. I think you in, you inspire but I think the thing that people love about you most is that you're human <laughs> and um, yeah, your own, you embrace your flaws and celebrate other people's imperfections and um, you're just a great person, I think, and people can be themselves around you, but. Hard to top that. Um, as a player, like I mentioned it before, but just that ability to kind of command respect and um, yeah, like no matter how close I've felt to you and I think it's similar with other teammates, like you've got a great personal relationship with so many of us, but no matter how much of that fun we have and how personally we, well we've known each other, it's never compromised your ability to like um, kind of keep me on edge and um, want to not let you down or not, you know, I've probably seen you dressed up <laughs> more than... <laughs> Most uh, AFL players would have seen their coach. <laughs> Won't go into any more detail no, than no, that. That's but, fair. Uh, Appreciate your that. creativity <laughs> and um, sense of fun is something that yeah leaves an, a huge mark on people as well. Thanks, Dave.
Tell us a story that sums up the character of the other. I don't know if it sums up the character, but maybe it's an insight into your work ethic, but to play a night game at Casey, like a 7.20 night game or 7.40, whatever time it was, and to get out of there at 10.30, 11 o'clock, and then make the trek back to Port Punka um, <laughs> with a Red Bull in the, uh, in the side of your backpack. Uh, that's just extraordinary, it blew my mind. Like, yeah, I couldn't believe what you were prepared to do um, probably the last couple of seasons with everything you've had going on. I reckon most people um, just would have said, yeah, this is all too hard. Like, I just want to be here with my family and yeah, I'd love to play, but I'm sorry, it's just too hard. But yeah, what you were prepared to do for the team, um, yeah, it was extraordinary. And that's why it was so sweet to be able to uh, finish your career the way um, that we did. What did the Premiership mean to both of you? Oh, um, for me, it, like it's hard again to just pin it on the Premiership. Like it, it kind of is the, on paper, the, I don't know, the achievement that we were both, I think, seeking out to achieve in it all. This year was one of the hardest years we've had. And I think in my career, as personally and as a team, it's almost been chasing perfection. Um, all these this baggage that we might have had previously, it was like we shed all that and then won it. It was pretty cool, I think. It's um, been a good life lesson, so I think that means a fair bit to me as well, moving, moving forward even. I agree, a lot of life lessons in particular this, this season, and then yeah, ended up with a cup at the end of it. But yeah, it does, and now that you're stepping away as a player, it does put a, a nice full stop on the establishment of Melbourne's women's program. It wouldn't have been right if you weren't part of the first premiership, I think, and that's something that's driven me. I've always felt like it's just there, and that's why this season was so hard, because we had to let go of chasing that. I don't know, I personally had to. Um, but, yeah, and then, ironically, we, we got there in the end, so it is a nice full stop, and yeah, I haven't tried to twist your arm this time around. <laughs> uh, I, I appreciate think, I think that. the timing is, is right, and the, um, the family is... is um, yeah, been there to support and they've, they've given up a lot too, so but yeah, pretty special way to finish. Mm -hmm.